Oh, hello folks. I've not been too well, that's why we've not had a video for the last few days, but um, hopefully I'm back to the normal now. Still got a bit of the gut's ache, so let's go and see what we've done out in the log cabin. Today, because today's really the only web that day that we've uh, been able to do anything. We've got this area out here which we're clearing. We're at the side of the log cabin at the moment now, as you can see. This is the log cabin here which we're going to take our pipe work through, which has got to come along the floor here and into the house so that we can either plumb it into our electrics and or our boiler. So mm. I'll show you inside. Look at Barney, look, look. We found so many frogs down here, haven't we, Barney? Mm. Hey, what are you doing? He pulls, I don't know where he does it, look, he pulls all the weeds out, look. Where's the frog? Hey, we have this all the time. We've got a little bonfire over there, obviously, this area has been like frog heaven sort of thing, so um, Barney's hunted them out. Right, well, that's enough of that anyway, so, yeah, this area at the back here, as you can see, we're trying to clear. It's a bit smoky at the moment. This is where I hopefully want to build an extension onto the log cabins there, so, um, we're just getting rid of all this old overgrown stuff which has been here for years and years. So let's take you into the log cabin because uh, Gary's been doing a bit while I've not been too well. And uh, I've also done a bit of work in here myself before I, before we done the last video. So let's just show you. Well, as you can see now, I've moved the sandblasting cabinet over to this side. And this is where it used to be in this corner here and we've just elongated the worktop here and this is going to be the, the water cylinder which will heat our hot water to keep our hydro graphics tank topped up over there as you know now what i was going to do initially this is what you call an unvented peat hot water cylinder now this varies as opposed to a normal water cylinder that you get for an immersion heater in the way that this basically, this normally, this would if this was a normal immersion heater cabinet, you would have the, the cold water filling this would come from your water tank in your roof. This is what they call an unvented system. And that means that you basically have a cold water feed coming directly in off of the mains to fill the system up. Uh, you have two ways of heating it up. One is via an electrical element in there, which heats up via electricity. And then you have your hot water system coming from your boiler would go into here and then come out of here and go back to your boiler basically like a radiator so but what you've got in there is a coil of copper pipe and that in turn would heat up the same way as an immersion heater would do in your cupboard but as i said the added benefit you've got with these systems is that these will push out sort of mains pressure cold water pressure see what you also need to keep the pressure up you have to install on your cold water supply coming in you need an expansion vessel which is as you can see what i've got there that's an expansion uh, vessel you also need a, a a check valve and a it's the pressure relief if it's a pressure valve basically as you can see there that's got to be plumbed into the cold water supply that's got an arrow of direction onto it so that will go onto there as well uh you've also need a safety element that safety feature on here which is a, basically a pressure relief valve that will come off down to a, a thing called a ton dish and you'll basically if, if any walls if pressure builds up too much in there uh, it will bypass the valve and this will go safely down uh, through this you'll be able to see water running there that's your visual indicator and the uh, 22 mil pipe will go down to outside to a suitable drain off uh, unit that's where the hot water is going to be coming out under obviously uh, pressure that will go next door that will then feed our spray bowl which is going to be on our tank over there and i'll also put in a mixer tap here for the shower so that we don't have sort of this will probably heat up to about 60 degrees c i'll probably have this heating up too so um so as you say but unlike a normal heater heating cylinder you have to be specially certified to install one of these things uh, otherwise it's against the law now i've had corgi registration in the past which is uk uh, pipe fitters or gas fitters uh, uh, installation code and I've also been a registered electrician as well but I'm gonna have to obviously get someone in 
to come and do the connected up work of this. So uh, it's for regulations point of view, basically. It's all changed since I was an active electrician many years ago, but as I say, things have changed now. But that's a basic overview of what I've got there. So as you can see, it's a nice solid platform there. And by having, I wasn't gonna have uh, the, the plumbed up to the uh, boiler, but I think I will do, because as I say, the boiler comes on so many times a day, and as a result of that, it might as well heat this water up as well. So rather than just have one pipe coming out, which is just a cold water pipe, and use the electric element, I'm just I'm gonna also plumb in these other two pipes as well. Right, so that's that. So things are ticking along, we're getting there, but obviously we've had a bit of a hold up, we've had a bit of a tidy up as well, so it's looking a bit more streamlined as you can see in here, so still lots of stuff to put away and lots of stuff to find homes for. We're trying to keep all the paint stuff and the lacquer stuff in this area here. Getting onto the uh, TGB R50X moped, I've actually got the jet now, so I'm gonna try and get this running today. I'm still having trouble finding an ignition lock for it, but um, it's got a little safety security switch in here, which is a kill switch in there, and a power switch. So that's how that's being operated at the moment. So I'm gonna basically get the car back together, and we'll try and get this started if possible. Right, okay, well, we put the uh, carb on, the TGB carb, onto the moped, we just tried to start it and it didn't want to know. Now, the fuel gauge is showing empty, but um, the smell of this petrol doesn't smell right at all. So, we've drained the tank out and I've just blown it out of an airway and the actual smell of that fuel is absolutely really stale looking, uh, smelling. So what we've done, we um, took the spark out, we've got a great spark there, and we put some um, Easy Start on the intake and it tried to fire straight away, so, Draining the petrol out now. I'm gonna put some fresh petrol in it now and then we'll we'll try it again. Right, we'll just turn the engine over now. And we smell the easy start coming through. I've taken the plug out and we've cleared all the fuel lines out now, so. Just dry that plug off, put that plug back in. So all the fuel lines are empty, the carb's empty. Oh well, there's still fuel probably in the car, but turning over the engine, I'm hoping that we've uh, cleared that. Right, we're just gonna get some petrol. We're just putting, I haven't got much petrol. We're gonna put a little drop of petrol in it. Ready? Yeah. Not too much, ready? Yeah, go on mate. Hello. Your battery's gonna go flat, innit? I better take that off again. Do you know what I mean, Lee? Yeah, man. Smart plug cap on. Ignition on. Try again. <laughs> Gonna be flat battery, isn't it? Going, isn't it? Right, we're back inside now. The light's beating us and also the battery went flat. So, I've been down, I've got some more fuel and I'm gonna do that tomorrow when the battery's charged up, so we'll have a look at that tomorrow. I'm inside now, I'm just doing a bit of research online. I've got a wiring diagram sorted out for it as well. Cause someone, as I said to you, who's had the bike before, has done some alterations to it, so I'm not exactly too sure what they've done, so I need a wiring diagram to sort that out. And also, I'm gonna be going to an auction in a minute, so time now is half past, or 10 past five in the evening. So I'm just gonna have a wash and brush up, cause I smell of petrol, and then I'll be going off to an auction. Anyway, that's enough for today. I am back now, as I say, you'll get another video this week on the TGB moped, and maybe as well on the uh, hydrographic setup. So I'll see you again in the next video. Thanks and bye for now.